Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today's January the 2nd, 2022. Yeah, I'm going to talk about Stellar today. I'm going to give you all a price prediction update in the market for Stellar. I mean, because the last video I did was on December the 9th, 2021. And now I wanted to see, you know, is this price in Stellar still a buy? Can we still see this currency go up in price? Because if so, then I'm going to keep my prediction the same. I mean, look at my chart. Yeah, I'm looking for the price in Stellar to do exactly that, go up. Now, before I break all of this down to see if anything changed, make sure you hit the like button, share and also subscribe here to our channel. I make this thing simple and easy. You don't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be noisy. Just simply look at what the people are doing with their own money. And you can tell that by looking at the price chart. And that's it. Nothing else, nothing more. All right, so let's talk about this real quick. So now, since December the 9th, 2021 what really has gone on into the market and still i mean look at the chart have we seen the price decrease in value have we seen the price increase in value let's take a look because we really haven't seen too much go on into the market and stellar since i did my last video the price has just been trading sideways which is a very good thing to take note of especially when we're trying to look for the price to go up so what does this sideways trading action really mean well, it means that the buyers are supporting the price. It means that the buyers are in place, willing to buy whoever is trying to sell their stellar lumens in the market. Yeah, that's what it means. So, so far, based on that alone, we can still anticipate the price in stellar to go up, okay? So now let me see how we ended the month of December. Since we are starting a new year, 2022, January, let's see what the month of December has. Okay, so this is the month of December here in Stellar. So, so far, so good. I mean, we're starting off on a good foot. Cool. But when you look at this from a monthly perspective, I mean, we still have to take into account this month, December, as well as November, right? You guys can pretty much see from a monthly perspective that my area of support, which is around 23 cents, yeah, it's still intact. The biggest area is around 20, though. Now, from a month perspective, I mean, can we actually see Stellar hit that? Look at this from a three month perspective. See, I'm keeping it real. In the next three months, <laughs> y'all probably don't want to hear this, but this is massive weakness. The last two three monthly price bars, which is right here, and even this one that started in July, yeah, all of this is emphatically weak. And this also goes on top of what happened on this three month price bar in April. This is all weakness that we are seeing on the charts for Stellar. People are selling, right? People are not buying the market in Stellar. So if I want to do a price prediction in the next three months, okay, I'm telling you this right now, the beginning of the year, I'm looking for Stellar to go down. Yeah, namely probably around to that 20 cent, maybe even 15 cent price level. Now, the might seem out of the ordinary for someone to actually do a price prediction three months out that you may be actually look for the price to go down in three months. Hey, I'm here to tell you the chart doesn't lie. OK, and looking at this from a three month perspective, definitely insinuates that this market in Stella is weak from that time frame. Look at it from the six months. So we just concluded the six month time frame in Stella right here. What does it look like to you? Does it look strong? Does it look weak? Yeah, it looks weak to me. So do we still have some weakness to contend with? Yes, we do. I'm just giving you all a heads up as we go into the first half of 2022. Nobody else is going to give this information. Everybody else is going to try to give you a whole lot of ponies and rainbows and cupcakes and buy it on a dip, buy it on a low. Dollar cost average is all going to go up. We're going to be 50 millionaires. Stellar's going to hit $2. All of that noise. But the chart is not showing us that. Why people cannot just keep it real with us and tell us what's actually going on in the markets? Don't worry, but I got your back because this chart right here. Yeah, this week. Now, I want you all to see this, though. OK, I want you all to take note of this. You see that? We can still safely say that the price in Stellar is still in a uptrend, though. So all is not necessarily lost to say that we're about to enter into a bear market. I'm just simply telling that I'm looking for the price to go down from a three month to a six month time frame. Yep, already. This is in on the two weeks, right? So I want you all to take note. Yeah, we're still in the uptrend in Stellar. Fantastic. But long term, yeah, 20 cents. It's going to be something that the buyer's going to have to maintain as well. 
Now, let me show you all the weekly. Okay. Because currently, this is what the weekly chart is showing us in Stellar right now. See, I'm still bullish from a shorter time frame. I'm still expecting the price in Stellar to go up. But from a three month to a six month span, I'm looking for the price to go down. This is what this is why it's so important to have a time preference. You got to understand when you expect the market to reverse this trend. So right now, yes, the market here in Stella is giving us some strength. So I'm not massively bearish right now. I'm still going to play the strength, though. So the price prediction that I have on the chart right now, it is still valid. I'm still looking for the price in Stella to go up. But wait, look at this. I want to show you all this. This area right here is restriction. OK, look at that. So as we see the price in Stella try to come back up to this 30 cent, maybe 31 cent price level. Keep that in mind that I'm telling you that this could actually be the start of more selling and price will go down from here. So maybe you want to take some of this profitability off the market in Stella five, almost six percent. OK, keep that in mind. I'm here to let you all know where the sellers are at and they're there around 30, 31 cents. OK, but overall, yes, I'm still looking for the price and to go up on a smaller time frame, meaning give me what a daily time frame, two days, three days, five day, weekly, maybe two weeks time frame is where I'm playing the strength at, because as I transition to the monthly perspective, this is where you all see the weakness. OK, this is where you're seeing it. So I'm just saying time is going to be very important in the market and stellar for those who are looking for this for the long term. You guys can see what the prediction is. I'm looking for the price to go down. For those looking to play this on the short term. Weekly and, and shorter, I'm looking for the price to go up. OK, and that's it. I mean, it's simple. This is how you're able to come in. And do a quick surveillance of what the landscape looks like in these cryptocurrencies without being confused. As you all can tell, I didn't talk about no RSIs. I, I didn't speak to you all about MACDs or, you know, simple moving averages or exponential moving averages or Fibonacci retracements or looking at the side of the moon. What which way did the sun rise? What is the big dipper is looking like against this, this little dipper? The constellations. Did we have a comet? enter the Earth's atmosphere? What is the Mayan calendar reflecting on these charts? You know, no, none of that. You guys need to believe what you see on the charts. And once you get the belief, once you understand that the market is already speaking to us, you guys can actually sit down and dissect what they're trying to do without the confusion. So make sure you join the team, join this community, right? I wanted to continue to show you all that this doesn't have to be complicated. You can also win in the market. So if you guys want to win alongside with me, like I said, oh, doors are open. Join the team. Now, before you go, as always, I want to give everyone an opportunity to do a price prediction for themselves. Do it. Just try it out. See if you can just look at the chart for what it is and see if you can try to make a determination as to where the price is going to go. You guys can see mine. So now I want to know what yours are. Let me know. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, money talks, but noise walks. Don't have none of that noise on your price charts. All right, I'm done. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.